says, I'm considering making a series of videos for my frontline staff. Awesome. Such as why selling games and toys the holidays is the best job ever. I love that, Gordon. And how to use our holiday promotions as a sales tool. How can I implement that so it's received positively? Well, Gordon, I think the first thing you want to do is record yourself. So get your phone, record it, do that. And then I would encourage you to upload that to SpeechPad, which is a, a, a transcription service. Uh, Siri just doesn't do this too well. And some other ones don't. It's actually a human being who translates it. Then go through and edit it. Make sure that you get it down to what you want to say. Don't edit it the way that you 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 type though. You just want to edit it down to make sure you're clear on what you want to say. You know, and usually I like to say start off with some kind of a story that's going to get their attention. I think one minute is probably a little too short for that. I would say try to make it like two to three. Give them a little story first, why, and then give like three bullet points, and then why you want them to do that. But uh, the key to making this. Uh, receiving it positively is I want to share something with you and ideally you're going to share a story from your heart. That's the key. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be anything wild. So for example, you might say how, uh, and I know Gordon, Gordon's one of our sales rights user since the beginning for five years. So I, you are my hero anyway, Gordon, no matter how you do this, but he might tell a quick story. Uh, you know, I was, um, brushing my teeth the other day and I opened the medicine cabinet and there my ma, my, uh, my wife had gone through and she squeezed the, the toothpaste in the middle again. And so I had this glob on one side and the other. And I went back to her and I said, you know, that really bothers me. And she says, well, the way that you roll it up is really hard and it, it hurts my hands because I have arthritis. And, um, you know, one of the things that I noticed, it's really hard to change things the way that we first, um, we first learn them. But what I've learned is that if you just kind of change the way you perceive it, that a lot of times you can end up changing and actually being better. Maybe that's what you're going to use. Maybe that, that probably wouldn't be the story you use. But the idea is you want to take whatever the story is and then turn it why you're sharing it. So you can say, so today I want to share with you why I think uh, the different about the attitude of why selling games of choice is the best job ever. Because you probably have a lot of friends in retail hating the fact that they work in retail and probably saying they hate Christmas music and they start their day off with that. And I'm just here to tell you that it's probably like the coolest thing because every single uh, time we meet somebody, it's a chance to discover something new and show a different product. You know, it's not like you're selling the same thing every day, like a Chipotle or something where, where one of your friends might work and then give your points to it. So how do they make it fun and friendly? Give them those three and then show it to one of them before you post it, right? Say, hey, take a look at this. Does that resonate with you? Or maybe show a friend who has, doesn't even work for you. Does that sound interesting? And uh, try it. I just applaud the fact you've been thinking about that, Gordon. And I would suggest all of you could do that just as well. If you're a gift store, window coverings, you're selling motorcycles, you're selling cars, it doesn't matter. How do you end up being able to share your expertise in a different way? And especially today when you have a phone right next to you and you can do it just as easily. So I hope that helps.